So how are you going to have a connection to your share? Just by having a good feeling. So what is your connection based on? If it's just that, it's very uh, fragile. The connection has to move beyond that. This is something that we've been talking about for a long time. This is what the awliyaullah they mean when they say what? Hizmat, khidmat. It is higher than ibadat. This is what we said when you become friends. After you say, oh, I like you, we click, then you become strong. The bond becomes strong, not weak. When they actually help each other. Helping is hitmat, is hizmat. At that time, I'm not saying you're helping your share. I'm saying now you're looking, what is your share? What is his life? What is his mission? And you say, I want to be part of his life and his mission. What is he doing? He's calling people to Islam. Let me try to help in that way, whatever way that I can, small. Once you start doing that, your connection is going to be stronger. At that time, you're not going to wait whether you feel it or you don't feel it. You say, no, now my purpose, it is different. My purpose is not just to have a good fuzzy feeling inside. My purpose is more tangible. My purpose is more stronger. My purpose is, what is he doing? He's helping poor people. Let me do that too. Let me help the people that he's helping. What else is he doing? He's trying to build a masjid. Maybe. He's trying to wake people up. He's trying to reach out for people. So let me try to do the same. When you start doing that, you will reconnect. At that time, the connection is a very strong wire, strong cable. If not, you're just still stuck on that emotional roller coaster. When you feel good, then you say I'm connected. When you don't feel anything, you're not connected. And this connection, it is not uh, something that is optional. Because if you don't connect to the awliyaullah, these winds of fitna and confusion is going to blow you away. So you getting connected to your share is also not something that is optional. It's a matter of life and death. Your spiritual life or your spiritual death. Do you understand? How am I going to help? Fine, there's so many things that you can do. We're not asking anyone for help. We're not asking anyone to do anything. The murid must do it uh, voluntarily, must do it sincerely. And if the murid does that, he wins for himself. If you're not doing it, Allah is going to send someone else. Allah is enough for us. The sheikh that needs his murid is not a sheikh. Because the sheikh needs only Allah. May Allah make it easy, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, give the dessert, give the tea. I want to drink something, inshallah. Yes. I'm 20 years old. I feel like I'm trapped by, by this dunya. I want to become stronger in faith, but my nefs and ego are pulling me more into my worldly desires like man, money, status, women, etc. I feel very low and feel like I have no pride. What can I do to get rid of these desires and come closer to my faith? You're young, you're 20 years old. Your blood is pumping very strongly in your body. And <coughs> you are being pulled by this world. But you don't feel comfortable because it sounds like you have a strong faith. And you don't want to be pulled into this world 100%. You are young, you should be running to do something. You are young, we don't want anyone to come here when you're 20 years old and just sit down and to make a zikr. You want to sit down and make zikr? Sit down and make zikr when others are sleeping at night. Daytime, you run around and you be active. Where there is activity, 
there is blessing. When there is blessing, there is mercy. When there is mercy, there is love. There is brotherhood. You cannot have brotherhood if you don't have activity, you don't have uh, blessings, you don't have mercy. The love comes at the end, not the beginning. So you're 20 years old, be active. But be active for the sake of Allah. How do you do it? You're getting pulled into this world. You say, you what? I want to earn a lot of money. You are young. Okay, you want to earn money. Work, you have to work. It's good. Earn money, but do it for the sake of Allah. You want status for the world to look at you as if you're something. Say, Ya Rabbi, this is for you. Maybe you're saying it first time, second time, third time, it is uh, fake. You don't really believe it. But you know what? If you say it to yourself more times, you start believing it too. When you are that age, be active. Do it for the sake of Allah. How are you going to balance now? You are not going to spend 100% of your time running after that too. You're going to spend time in the masjids. You're going to spend time in the delga. You're going to spend time learning from your brothers. You're going to spend time with your share. Spend time with the friends of Allah. There's a time you're going to have some balance. Inshallah Rahman. Surround yourself with those ones who are remembering Allah. Surround yourselves with the Ahli Zikr. That time you are anchored. You are anchored. You may be like a kite flying everywhere, but there is someone who is holding your string. You understand? There is someone who is holding it. You can go everywhere. But there's someone holding your string. Don't follow the wind so much, the line may snap. Inshallah. This much we can say. May Allah forgive me and bless you. This much is enough. We are living in the Ahir of the Ahir Zaman. Never forget that. Never forget the situation that this world is facing in. Never forget the situation that this ummah is facing. Don't look at it with our eyes. Look at it with the eyes of the friends of Allah. Look at it with the eyes of the Prophet. Look at it, yes, with the eyes of Allah. Then you'll start understanding how dark this world is and how much we have made a mess of so many things. Muslims I'm speaking about. If the man doesn't turn around and make a tawbah, tawbah, so many people take tawbah nasuha. Tawbah nasuha is not just being sincere, it's knowing exactly what you did, what harm it did, and trying, trying hard to run to fix it. It's not just to sit and to count thousands and thousands of thousands saying, Astaghfirullah. Once you start doing that, you're taking accounting of yourself. Allah will open the way, inshallah, Rahman, for us to change. Otherwise, it's impossible. We mean Allah Tawfiq, Al Fatiha. Amen. Assalamu alaikum.